Bienvenidos, we will start in two minutes. The engines of each other. The engines of knowledge. Our world undergoes constant change in an endless evolution. An evolution made out of theory and practice. Two essential mechanisms complementing each other. The engines of knowledge. That's how Bocconi was born, from a two-sided story, from thought and action. Two poles, one single movement, a movement that pushes us forward. Visionary thoughts coming to life. Ideals turning into ideas. Where others see complexity, we see motivation. To always think big, to create something even bigger. Because it's in our DNA to shape leaders who make a difference on business, society and people. Not only tomorrow's thinkers, but also today's game changers. Bocconi. Knowledge that matters. Welcome everyone. Buenos dias, buenas tardes. This is Lina from SRT, and today I'm honored to host Our you host for the Study in Italy webinar together with Parker Sidal from Bocon University in Milano. Hi, Parker. Hello, hello. Thank you for having me, and welcome, everybody. Welcome, indeed. Um, I see a lot of students joining us already from all over the world, which is fantastic. I hope you all guys are safe and well and uh, we'll have the pleasure to visit your country very soon. Um, the last country I visited uh, before the lockdown was uh, Nicaragua, so I want to see who's here today from Nicaragua. Parker, what was the last country you visited? Poland. Poland. Well, let's see if there's anyone from Poland right now. It must be quite late for you. Before we start, uh, for those of you joining us for the first time, there is a chat on the right side of your screen where you can ask Parker your questions at any moment and he will get back to you at the end. The session today will take approximately 45 minutes and we hope you stay online to download Bukoni's brochures and useful links that we will be sharing you. So now I let you enjoy the webinar. Welcome Parker, the floor is yours. Excellent, thank you very much. Once again, welcome everybody. My name is Parker. I work for Bocconi University. If you don't know Bocconi, don't worry, you're gonna learn plenty about it today. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I'd just like to give you an overview of what I'm going to talk about during my presentation. I'll start off by giving you a general introduction to Bocconi, and then I'll transition and talk more about our undergraduate school and the bachelor programs that we offer. Next, I'll talk about the application procedure. So if you are interested in coming to Bocconi, I'll let you know what kind of documents you need to send us and when you need to send them. Uh, next, I'll talk a bit about campus life. Uh, everybody knows that you, know, you want to enjoy your life while you're studying, so campus life and having something to do is, is pretty important. And then last but not least, we'll have a Q&A session where you can ask me any questions that come up uh, during the presentation. Okay, so I'll start off by talking a bit about our history. We're a fairly old university. We were founded in 1902, and we were actually the first university in Italy to grant a degree in economics. Now, since our founding, our reputation has solidified, and we're often regarded as the best business school in Italy. Since the 1970s, we've also been going through the process of internationalization, in fact, in 1974 is when we began offering exchange programs, 
And in the early 2000s, we began offering programs taught entirely in English. Now today, we actually offer more programs taught in English than we do in Italian. Now, every university that, uh, that you see present will have a slide about their rankings, and we are no exception. I personally don't like, talk, like to talk about rankings because I don't think it tells you everything that you know about a university. Nonetheless, the rankings are important whenever you try to determine the reputation of a university. Uh, they're also important whenever you start applying to jobs, since many top companies tend to recruit students coming from highly ranked universities. I'm happy to say that Baconia is generally ranked within the top 10 business schools in Europe. And then if you broaden the scale and look worldwide, we're often within the top 20 business schools worldwide for, for subjects like management, economics, and, uh, and finance. Regarding our student body, uh, I would consider us to be a mid-sized university. We have about 14,000 students. Consider that of the students that are in a bachelor program, nearly half of them are international. So you don't have to be afraid of being the only international student in the classroom full of Italians. Um, we have more than 100 nationalities represented on campus. That includes students, faculty, and staff. Um, so of course you're going to have other international students in the classroom with you, but it's likely that you'll also have a few international professors, or you'll come in contact with international staff like myself. I mentioned that Bocconi has a strong focus on internationalization. And one of the components of this, uh, this strategy uh, would be our exchange program. Now, we have a network of 280 partner universities around the world where our students can go to spend a period abroad. Some of the partner universities include Princeton, NYU, UCLA, the London School of Economics. Um, I'm going to butcher the pronunciation, but uh, Tecnologico de Monterrey in Mexico. Basically, we partner with the top business schools in every country around the world, which means that whenever you do go abroad, you're not only going to have the opportunity to experience a new culture and meet new people, but you're also going to have the opportunity to learn from another top-ranked faculty. And that eventually means that whenever you graduate and start looking for a job, not only will you be able to add uh, you know, the fact that you got a degree from Bocconi onto your resume, but you can also add a line saying that you stepped inside of another prestigious school. Bocconi also has a strong focus on creating and maintaining relationships with companies, not only in Italy and not only in Europe, but all around the world. Now, we understand that whenever students go to college, the reason why they, they spend the time, the money, and the energy in college is to get a better job whenever they graduate. And so we do everything we can in order to increase your chances of finding employment after you finish your program. Now, to give you an example, one of the things that we do uh, would be the career fairs that we organize. I'm sure many of you guys know what a career fair is. It's uh, an event where companies come and, and gather and students can go around from desk to desk meeting uh, HR representatives from each company. Now, we organize these fairs multiple times throughout the year on our campus in Milan, but then we also organize them every year in London, Paris, Brussels, Shanghai, and Frankfurt. So let's say your goal is actually to end up working for a bank in London. You can get there, and it actually be quite easy because you would have the opportunity to meet British banks directly through the uh, Bocconi Career Fair in London. Now, on this slide, uh, you can find our employment, or our employment rate. Basically, how likely is it that a student will be employed after graduating from Bocconi? Well, you'll notice that within one year after graduation, 95% of the students are employed. Now, these are master statistics, because in Europe, it's quite common for students to do a master degree. Uh, but nonetheless, the fact that 95% of our students find a job within one year after graduation is really a stellar statistic. And then, of course, we just wanted to provide you guys with some names of, of companies that are hiring and recruiting our students. So you can find them here listed. Most of them will be large multinational companies, 
but we also had many students that might go work for a startup, which is actually quite, uh, quite popular now. And then the last slide that um, I'll share with you before I conclude my, my introduction would be this slide here about our faculty and the research that we do. I always like to point out that Bocconi is a research university, which means that the professors who are teaching you are not only there to teach, but they're actually there to conduct research and make discoveries. And that's important because it means that the people who are going to be teaching you are actually the ones learning these things firsthand. It also means that as a student, you could have various opportunities to participate in research. And if your goal is eventually to become a professor or to pursue a career in academia, it gives you the opportunity to publish, uh, publish articles very early on in your career. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll talk specifically about the undergraduate school and the bachelor programs that we offer. Now, we have about 8,000 students in our undergraduate school. And if you recall, I mentioned this earlier, but with the programs that are taught in the English language, nearly half of the students in those programs are international students. In fact, on this slide, you can see exactly where they're coming from, which regions of the world. You know, most of our students that are coming from outside of Italy will come from other European countries. That's normal. I mean, France is a lot closer to Italy than Australia. But nonetheless, we have 17% uh, of our international students coming from the Americas, 28% um, coming from the Asia Pacific region, and then even some coming from, from, from Africa. Okay, so let's talk a bit about what it is that you study. Now, Bocconi is a business school, and we're traditionally known for offering programs that cover three main fields of study which are finance, management, and economics. These are the three subjects which we have offered since our founding in 1902. However, over the past 10 years, you know, as the labor market becomes more dynamic and, and employers search for graduates with varied skill sets, we began offering programs that also cover data science, mathematics, and political science. So whenever I show you the list of our bachelor programs, Right away, you might notice that the names of the programs are quite long. And the reason why is because our programs are never going to focus on one field of study. They usually blend at least two of the five fields of study that I showed you in the previous slide. We don't go off of the major and minor system. So if you're looking at college options in the United States, you might you know, say, oh, I want to major in this and minor in that. Bocconi, you don't do that. From Bocconi, you pursue a program, and that program's curriculum is already going to be interdisciplinary. So you're already going to be studying multiple subjects like economics with management or, or you know, economics management and computer science. Now, in addition to studying these, these fields of study, you're also going to have a, a few other elements peppered into the curriculum. For example, we make all of our students take a soft skills seminar, which would be something like team building or public speaking. We make our students take a computer science course, which would be something like Python coding or Microsoft Excel. All of our students have to study two foreign languages. And if you don't speak Italian, be prepared because Italian will have to be one of those. And then as you approach the end of your program, you'll have a number of uh, elective courses that you could pursue. And as I mentioned earlier, you could also look at doing an exchange program or uh, pursuing an internship. Let's talk more about what the program looks like year by year. Well, the best way to describe uh, the structure of the program would be, you know, the first year is going to be broad. You're going to be taking, uh, you know, classes that are compulsory for most, most students, regardless of the program that they're in. There's subjects like mathematics, microeconomics, macroeconomics. Then as you move on in the second year, the things will become more specific to the program that you're enrolled in. Then at the end of the program in the third year, it really is uh, left up to you. You have a number of different options uh, for how you want to customize your experience. Like I said, you could take 
elective classes, you could do an internship, or you could go abroad for an exchange. In fact, I think most of our students don't even spend the full third year on their campus because, you know, if they're abroad for an exchange, that'll last one semester. If they do an internship, that might last six months. So the third year is really left up to you. How do you learn at Poconi? Or how do professors teach? I think it's going to change between each class, depending on the professor and on the subject that they're teaching. But in general, I would say that at the beginning of the program, you're going to have larger classes, and most of your classes will be lecture-based. However, from the second year onward, class sizes will get a bit smaller. You'll probably have 75 to 80 students per class, and they'll be much more interactive. It's quite common for our professors to incorporate group work or to give out assignments. Um, you know, students are often asked to study real world business cases. And then we also have uh, managers from different companies come into the classroom and talk about the work that they do. That way students have a real, uh, a real life example of how what they're learning is going to be applied uh, later on in their career. Okay, so let's say that you're watching this presentation and you're interested, you like what I've been saying, you want to study at Poconi. Let's discuss a bit about how you go about applying and being admitted to uh, our university. So, what are you going to need in order to apply? Well, first of all, we're gonna look at your grades from high school. Specifically, we look at the two years prior to your final year. This means that if you're graduating after 12 years of school, we're going to evaluate you on years 10 and 11. In general, we're looking for students who perform in the top 20% of their uh, class. So we're looking for highly uh, motivated students who, who have a strong academic profile. In addition to the grades from high school, we'll ask you to provide us with the results of an admissions test. I'm sure many of you have already heard of the SAT or the ACT. These are international exams which you can take um, usually all around the world whenever there isn't a global pandemic. Um, hopefully they resume in August or September and you'll have the opportunity to take the SAT or ACT near you. If you aren't able to, don't worry. There's another option. It's called the Bocconi test and it's actually administered online. It is similar to the SAT and ACT in the sense that it measures mathematical and logical reasoning. The only difference is that it's administered and managed by us instead of through a different organization. Now, these first two documents, so the grade transcripts and the uh, admission test, are actually the most important and will probably make up about 80% of the decision taken by the student. However, we also like to look at who you are as a person which is why we ask you for a CV or resume, however you prefer to call it, with a one-page personal statement. Uh, this personal statement is kind of like a motivational letter. It helps us understand why you want to study at the program. Then, we'll eventually need an English language certificate. It actually doesn't need to be submitted with the application, uh, but just keep in mind that if you are admitted to Bocconi, at some point you'll have to provide us with proof that you speak English. In terms of how you apply, all you have to do is go to unibocconi.eu, click on apply, and you'll be led to a portal where you can upload all these documents and send them. Keep in mind, however, that the portal only accepts applications during certain windows or application sessions. Now, today I'm here to talk about the application timeline for bachelor programs that will start in September 2021. Uh, as you can see, we have three different opportunities for you to apply. The first is during the early session, um, which is actually going to be opening up next month in July. And then you'll have until the end of September to send your application. If you apply during the early session, we'll let you know already in November if you have a spot at Pocone. If it's a bit too early for you to apply and you want to wait a little while, don't worry. You can apply during the winter session or the spring session, which take place uh, later on. 
the image on this slide got a little uh, little uh, distorted, so just ignore that. But uh, this slide is, you know, serves as the purpose of introducing you to a unique program that we offer called the World Bachelor in Business. If you haven't heard of it before, get ready to be blown away because it's really, really a cool program. So basically, students spend uh, their college years studying between three different universities in three different countries. It's a four-year program because it tends to follow more of the American model of, uh, of a bachelor program. And students spend the first year in Los Angeles at the University of Southern California. The second year, they go as a class to Hong Kong, where they study at the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. The third year, they're with us in Milan, at Bocconi. And then the fourth and final year, each student is able to choose which uh, school they want to return to. And regardless of where they decide to go, whenever they graduate, they'll be given a degree from each of the three universities. So they end up graduating with an American degree, a Chinese degree, and a European degree. It's pretty cool. Okay. So, um, Let's say you've applied and you've been admitted, and now you have to talk a little bit about how you're going to finance your education. Well, the first thing I'll say is that tuition fees at Piconi are about 13,000 euros per year. That's either very affordable or very expensive, depending on what you compare it to. If you're coming from Latin America and you compare Piconi's tuition fees to the tuition fees in your you know, neighbor to the north in the United States, you'll find Bocconi is incredibly affordable. Now, we also have different scholarships available for students. Um, two of them are going to be, um, let's say, you're automatically going to be evaluated for them whenever you submit your application to Bocconi. Uh, this would be the Bocconi Merit Award and the Bocconi International Award. So by submitting your application to a program, you're automatically going to be evaluated for those scholarships. Uh, there are also student loans available. If you're an EU citizen or a U.S. citizen, there are different uh, options available through banks or through the government. And then a last option, which is um, uh, listed just very discreetly on this slide, would be the reduced tuition fees. So basically, if your family isn't able to afford 13,000 euros per year, you could provide us with financial documents to prove that and we'll adjust the tuition fees accordingly. I believe they can go down to as low as around 6,000 euros per year. Okay, as I mentioned in um, the agenda for this presentation, I'm gonna talk a bit about campus life because you know, whenever you go to college, obviously studies are your number one priority, but you want to be sure that you are going to enjoy your time uh, in college and, and where you're at. So I'll talk a bit about what it's like to be in Milan and at Bocconi. Let's start off with Milan. Well, if you haven't been to Milan before, I can say it's a beautiful city. And what makes it unique is that it's Italy's economic capital. Most people, whenever they think of Italy, they think of Rome, which is the largest city. They think of Florence or Venice, which tend to be you know, the big tourist destinations. And then whenever they think of Milan, they kind of think of fashion, but they don't really know everything that there is to know about Milan. So like I said, it's the economic capital. And what that means is that it's the, the engine of Italy's economy. For one, the Italian stock exchange is located in Milan, but then also many, many companies, many multinational companies, whenever they decide to, to open up in Italy and do business in, in Italy, they'll put their headquarters in Milan. It's a city that's, viewed as being the most connected to the world and the rest of Europe. Italy, in general, if we you know, look at Italy as a country, I can say that it's a great place to study because the quality of life is so high. But it's also a very relevant place to study business and economics because it's a member of the G8, which means it's one of the largest economies in the world. It's a founding member of the EU, and it continues to play an important role in both European and global politics. Now let's focus more on Bocconi's campus. Uh, the best way to describe it would be through the word vibrant, which means that it's energetic and there's a lot going on. Now, every year the university as an institution will organize massive events for students 
Uh, these usually take the form of uh, speaking events. So in the top uh, right corner of this slide, you can find some photos of people who have come to Bocconi in the past few years. Uh, one that I'll point out, perhaps the most famous, would be the very, very top right figure, uh, who is Howard Schultz. If you guys like coffee and you like Starbucks, you might know him. Uh, for those of you who don't know anything about Starbucks or anything about coffee, uh, he's the founder of Starbucks. So he actually came to Bocconi uh, last year, whenever they opened the very first Starbucks in Italy. And he gave this really cool presentation about how Starbucks had to adjust its business model in order to find success in Italy. The reason why was because Italian coffee culture is so unique. You know, for one, they drink espresso. They don't drink uh, American coffee or long coffee. Two, um, whenever people drink coffee, they don't open up their laptop and, and write their novel like, like you usually see in Starbucks. Uh, instead, they stand at a counter and they drink it two minutes, they're in and out, uh, and they drink their coffee. So the, the, the standard model of Starbucks wouldn't work in Italy, and that's something that he recognized. And he came to Bocconi and he talked about that. So this is just one example of these unique events that take place on our campus and are reserved for our students. But in addition to these events, there are so many other things that you could take advantage of on our campus. We have 80 uh, student associations that you can join. And then if you, you know, for whatever reason, want to create your own, you can always do that. These student associations organize their own events, and there are more than 200 of them every year. So I'll give you the example of uh, myself, actually. Uh, I'm not a student at Bocconi. I'm a staff member. I work there. But whenever I uh, joined the Bocconi community, I realized that there was a, a golf club. And I like golf, so I emailed them, and I said, hey, can I be part of this club? And they said, yeah, sure. And then they told me more about it, and basically they, they had arranged um, some, some agreement with a country club in Milan to where Bocconi students who are part of the golf club could go there and practice uh, for free once per week. So that's one example of how these student associations really help you, you know, take advantage of opportunities to meet new people and further discover the city where you're living. We also offer students the possibility to live on campus. Um, so if you do want that college experience of living in a dorm and whatnot, you can find that at Pocone. Unfortunately, space is tight, so we aren't able to guarantee you a spot. You have to be quick whenever you apply. But um, if you do get a spot, I can tell you that the rooms are quite nice. All of them are individual, so you never have a, a stinky roommate. Uh, you also have a cleaning lady who comes through once a week to tidy up and change the bed sheets. I think it's comparable to living in a hotel, to be honest. And our campus is growing. So within the next, I believe, eight months, the expanded campus will be finished and open. It's going to include a new residence hall. It's going to have new, um, new classrooms for our MBA students and it's going to have a brand new sports and recreation complex. Okay, so in concluding the session about campus life, what I'd like to do now is open it up to questions. Um, let's see, my colleagues here are going to provide me with some questions, which I see in the chat. Question number one, is there any benefit for IB students? Short answer, yes. Um, what benefits do you see? Well, for one, you get to avoid some bureaucratic uh, procedures. The IB diploma is generally recognized all throughout Europe, so you don't have to get you know, um, some other high school diploma certified by the Italian consulate or embassy. The other benefit is that it uh, will automatically allow you to meet our English language prerequisite, so you won't have to do a TOEFL or IELTS. Next question, are the tuition fees the same for international students and EU students? Yes, this is actually something that I, I like about Bocconi, and that is that they don't give any sort of, you know, benefits to Europeans just because they happen to be born in Europe. Or, you know, people who are not European aren't disadvantaged only because of where they're born. Everybody pays the same fee unless you're given a scholarship, or you prove that you're from a difficult economic background um, 
and that can see it reduce tuition fees. Next question, would we learn Italian slash do I need to speak Italian when you apply? Uh, no, you don't need to speak any Italian. Um, in fact, uh, I think you could get by so long as you know, ciao, pizza, and pasta. You know, just with those words, you'll be able to greet people and order food. Um, you will learn Italian while you're at the Pony. One, because it's mandatory. We make all of our stud students uh, study two foreign languages. Uh, but you also learn it simply because you'll be living here. And it's very, very easy to pick up the language whenever you're fully immersed in the culture. Um, there's a question I see about master programs. I'm not going to dive into too much detail. What I can say is that Bocconi does offer a wide variety of master programs. And our master programs are all highly ranked. So if you are interested in a master degree, go to, go to our website and you'll be able to find more information. Another question, what is the required SAT score? Um, we don't necessarily have a required score. What I'll do is give you a benchmark, something to aim for, and I would say a 1300 or higher. Obviously, the higher the better, but if you have a 1300, you could apply confidently. Okay, let's see, got some more questions here. How many tests do I need to apply to Bocconi? Um, well, I, I guess the, mm, at least one. You would at least need to take the SAT, the ACT, or the Bocconi test. We, we require at least one of those. But then if you are not a native English speaker or you don't have an IB diploma, then you also have to take an English language certificate. How old do you have to be? Well, um, every year we have some students who are younger than 18 come. Um, most students naturally, whenever they apply to Bocconi, they're you know, at the end of high school, and so they're, they're around 18. Um, we get more and more students now taking a gap year. So let's say you graduated, uh, you graduated from Bocconi, you, know, or you graduated from high school last year, two years ago. You're still very much uh, in time to apply for Bocconi. Usually after a student has a five-year break from, from high school, um, we usually encourage them to take a different kind of program, a program that is um, going to require work experience. But uh, yeah. So we have another question here about the calendar. If I end school in August 2021, can I apply to September 2021? Uh, the answer would be yes. But keep in mind, your application process would actually take place uh, before you finish high school. So let's say you graduate August 2021. You, you would be applying uh, basically this fall for a spot in the uh, September 2021 intake uh, in bachelor programs. All right, a couple more questions. Does the university have extracurricular activities like clubs? Yes, um, I mentioned that briefly here. We have a number of different uh, student associations. Um, I talked about the, the golf club, but that's, that's one silly example. We also have you know, um, clubs that are aimed at career goals. So for example, we have a, a consulting club and students who aim to go into management consulting usually join this club and it gives them the opportunity to take on real projects. This club actually deals with companies and they provide them with consulting services. So it allows you to get some work experience. That's one example. Then we have, let's say, less uh, serious clubs. We have a hiking club, a sailing club. Um, we have a wine, <laughs> a wine drinking club. Um, so yeah. Let's look at some more questions. What academic areas do you evaluate most uh, when applying? Uh, again, that would be the academic profile. So basically, uh, we're going to look at your grades from high school as well as your uh, admission test. Minimum IB or TOEFL. Um, I can't remember the specific scores for each exam, but it would be the B2 level. So if you want to study in English at Peconi, you have to have an English language certificate that reaches the B2 level. If that doesn't, um, if that isn't familiar 
to you, the, the, the B2 level, then you could Google the um, European framework for languages, and you'll see that there is a scale that goes from A1 to C2, uh, and it, it expresses how fluent you are with the language. And like I said, we're going to look for B2 level English. All right, more questions. What is the percentage of acceptance? Um, we, don't, we don't really provide that because whenever you apply to Bocconi, you apply to a specific program. And so each program has its own admission rate. But if you want me to spit out a number, I would say probably between 25 and 35%, depending on the year. So we are a competitive university. Uh, it is tough to get into Bocconi. Um, you do have to be a high, highly motivated student. Um, but if you are, then, then apply and let's get it done. Does the application process have any cost? That's a good question. Uh, yes, the application fee is 100 euros. Okay, some more questions here. Do you have any double degree programs or are the international dreams just part of the diploma? Uh, I'm not sure I understand the question. Basically, yes, we do have double degree programs. I talked briefly about the World Bachelor in Business. That's actually a triple degree program uh, where you spend time at three different universities. Um, however, I guess it would be limited to that. If your question is asking about, let's say, dual degrees in terms of studying two subjects, no, we don't offer dual degree programs. Um, Basically, all of our programs are already going to incorporate more than one subject, which I talked about a bit uh, early on. What would be a good A-level score? A, A, B, let's say. That's, that's what you should aim for. Um, is it possible to work as you study at Bocconi? Yes, legally you are allowed to work uh, with a student permit. Keep in mind, however, that you might be limited in terms of what job you can do. If you don't speak Italian, then it might be hard to be a waiter or work in a coffee shop. I find that many of our international students might get, you know, uh, small jobs translating or, or tutoring, but I wouldn't say that this would be enough money in order to fund your education. Another question, can I go on exchange? I am from Bolivia and I would like to know if I can start my career in my city and then go on an exchange during my last year of my career. Um, well, at Bocconi you can go on an exchange, but it wouldn't work the way you're asking. Uh, basically, the exchange program at Bocconi requires you to study at Bocconi from the beginning of the program. Then whenever you reach the third year, either for the first semester or the second semester, then you go abroad for the exchange. <laughs> this question just says, virtual admissions test, question mark. Yes, our Bocconi test is virtual, so you don't have to come to Milan in order to take it. When I attended the open day this winter, ah, okay, this is actually somebody who's been to Bocconi, cool. So when I attended the open day this winter, the admissions office told me 12 years of education are required to apply. However, in Peru, we just have 11 years of school. And in this case, I'd have to study one year of university to reach 12 years. So the application will be as a transfer or as a new student. Uh, yes, this is true. We require 12 years of school. This is actually a requirement that you'll find in many other countries as well. So it's not unique to, <clears throat> not unique to Italy. So basically what we require is, you know, if you have 11 years of school, then you'll have to reach 12 years by taking a year of college uh, in your home country. Whenever you apply, however, you'll be applying as a first year student. Okay, so I think I've, I've answered a lot of questions. My voice is getting a little raspy. Now, um, I think the staff have made available our brochure to you guys. So if you want to download that brochure, have a glance, you'll find a lot of information. And then you can also contact us. What I'm going to do is write an email address right here. 
services Yep, I wrote it correctly. So just uh, shoot us an email and uh, we'll be able to answer your question. Now, I just want to thank you guys for coming. And in conclusion, uh, I think we're just going to play the video one more time. Yes, we will. For those of you who joined later, we will play once again the video where you can see what actually Bukoni feels like. We encourage you to visit the virtual open days and to talk to Parker after the, the webinar. And we thank you so much for attending. Everyone who did not get a uh, an answer to their questions, we will surely get back to you. Uh, you will receive a video of the webinar with uh, Parker's details. So just send him an email whenever you feel like your answer, uh, your question was not answered. Have a great weekend. Thanks again, Parker, for that wonderful presentation. And uh, hopefully see you in Italy very soon. Hopefully. Our world undergoes constant change in an endless evolution. An evolution made out of theory and practice. Two essential mechanisms complementing each other, the engines of knowledge. That's how Bocconi was born, from a two-sided story, from thought and action. Two poles, one single movement, a movement that pushes us forward. Visionary thoughts coming to life. Ideals turning into ideas. Where others see complexity, we see motivation. To always think big, to create something even bigger. Because it's in our DNA to shape leaders who make a difference on business, society, and people. Not only tomorrow's thinkers, but also today's game changers. Bocconi, knowledge that matters.